What's cracking like in Challenger? I'm your host James Moreland and guys today we are adding in these guys to the backyard pond. Yo guys, right now we're at Petco about to pick up 20 goldfish. It's gonna be awesome in our new pond. We actually just add a lot of chemicals to it so it's crystal clear. So yeah, let, let's go inside and check it out. Oh, they don't even have any. They don't have feeder fish. Other pet store. All right, let's go. Okay guys, we are back, except this time we are at Petland, not Petco, because they did us dirty. They didn't have feeder fish, but today we're actually going in here and gonna get some fish. I'm trying to see if my friend Jonah is here. It doesn't look like it. But as you can see, they have, I think it's a subcotta tortoise. And guys, I had an obsession with turtles when I first started this channel. Like when I started, I wanted to get turtles and stuff. This guy's awesome. You actually get to feed him and you can buy him food. Out of this little vending machine, it's really cute. But yeah, he's pretty awesome. He's just slept in the corner, so. Okay guys, so they have some goldfish. These guys are actually a little bit bigger. I don't know if I'm gonna get them today. I wanna get some smaller fish that'll also help, help cycle the pond like we already have with our cloud minnows. But then they also have some extra large goldfish and comets and stuff. And these guys will get longer this way, more like the other goldfish that'll get like fatter vertically. So. so these are some of the fish that we can look at. These are minnows and then these are actually feeder fish. So if you have like a large predatory fish, kind of like these guys, like cichlids, um, piranhas also, people usually feed these fish to them. It's just, there's a lot of bait about live feeding, but this is usually what they're used to in the wild. So it's like the best diet for them. When other fish might rely on insects and other smaller things. So I'm gonna be going with, with these feeder fish and hopefully it'll turn out awesome. What's up, man? All right, so yeah, I think probably like 10 of the big ones and like 10 of the small ones, I think. How about you right, get 24 so. small ones? Oh yeah, John's been working on the fish and we can see his hands are like all crusty and painty. <laughs> Wait, where are they? Oh, snap! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have to keep a glass top in those cases. They're jumpers, yeah. I love their trapdoor mouth, like that's, that's so... Oh, look at these guys. Are these, um, I forgot the name of them. It's a type of goldfish. Similar to Aranda. And this is a place I usually get my uh, dragon stone and stuff. You can see it here. Speaking of which, I probably should be getting some more eventually when I do my scapes. We're gonna see them. They're really, they get big, especially with these bigger ones. And before you guys get out of here, I might be able to uh, scrounge up some crickets to feed you. Some crickets? They eat crickets? Oh yeah. What? That'd actually be really awesome. But per usual, the main thing I like of this fish store, this huge tank. They have a huge long finned albino bristlenose placo. That's like my favorite type of fish. Placo? Yeah, that long finned albino nose. Oh, angelfish. Whoa! Get a Whoa! Look at his spikes. What? That is so cool. And you can see the little guys. Look at that big one. Look, we have some pretty good, some pretty good fish. This is gonna be fun. Though. This is gonna be fun. Yo, know, I, I kind of want to just get like one big guy. I don't know if I want to do that today though. Yeah? These are our like, last four, so... Oh, snap. Wow. They do strike really fast. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on in life. It's not a mirror, Jim. Wow. He, he does look really adorable. Wait, actually, how much is this guy? Thank you. It's like winning the state fair. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh yeah. Also these guys will help take care of the mosquitoes that we have in the pond. I do have the minnows and those guys do eat them, but not as well as these guys can take care of them. So that's pretty awesome. Driving home and John has it. Literally in the seat belt while he's driving. That, that's actually pretty awesome. Okay guys, so it's been a while since you've seen the pond. But as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. It's like crystal clear. We add a lot of chemicals. Also, we got a UV filter, but we haven't put that in yet. You can see the waterfall. Everything's changed up a bit, but I'll talk about that in a different video, but we're gonna add the fish in. So John, let's, let's put the bag down. Let's look at what we got. The fish haul. Oh, this is one package. These are the big guys. Oh, he, he accidentally gave us a minnow too. That's pretty cute. So these guys are so adorable. Actually, I kind of want to get some for an aquarium. That'd be really awesome. They're so beautiful. Our fish are actually hiding behind the little water lily I added in. This is actually awesome. I'm going to turn off the waterfall so you guys have better audio, but yeah. And this adds enzymes and also beneficial bacteria to the pond, which helped cycle it. And you can see it's crystal clear. 
I guess we're just gonna add in these bags of fish, let them acclimate, and I'll come back and do something awesome to add them in. All right, so first bag in. Oh, they're so awesome. Oh my gosh. And then the second one added into the pond. Oh my gosh. All right, before I add these guys to the pond, I'm actually gonna have to change into some better attire to match the occasion. Yo guys, if you have not dropped a like on the video yet, make sure you do because it's absolutely free and it helps so much. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. I am super excited and we also went to McDonald's. Not sponsored, but this is so good. All right, so I'm gonna go into the pond and actually add the fish in. And I'm gonna do it in a special way. All right guys, so I'm actually standing in the pond right now. It's not really necessary. So anyways, these are the fish that we are adding into the pond. So let's get a quick close up. All right guys, so I'm gonna add the little guys into the pond first because they are adorable and they're awesome. So if we come closer to the bank, you can see how the pond's designed. It's deeper in that section and also there, but we have this shallow little bank right here. So let's get a close up over here. All right, so I'm gonna add them in. So I added some fake plants. Oh, they're interacting with the cloud minnows. That's actually really awesome. All right guys, just so you know, you can see the pond looks beautiful right now, but it's not completely done. We are gonna be doing a separate video on the actual pond when it's finished, because I've done a lot of changes. John's done so much work finishing the pond, making it look beautiful. Okay, so I'm super excited. That'll probably be on the vlog channel and probably a little bit on this channel, because the vlog channel is gonna mainly have, I guess, the pond videos. So I'm gonna add these guys in, and these guys are like about two or three inches. I'm not, I'm used to like nano species fish. The biggest fish I've had was my angelfish, and I mean like, I'm, I'm super stoked. And after I feed them after a couple months, I'll probably do a little bit of an update on these guys. So I think that'll be awesome, but I'm gonna add them in again. I am adding the water from the store in just because it'll be easier, especially since we're working with such a large amount of fish. They're all staying in the bag. Stop, get out. Oh, they just look like liquid gold. Last one, last one. Look at that guy. That is an adorable fish. They're all staying in the middle. They're all staying in that little shallow area. That's pretty awesome. It looks so cool. Adorable. I don't want to take them out too long, especially since they just traveled here and they're a little stressed. All right, guys, short cinematic sequence brought to you by H Show Plants. Check them out down below. You can use the code CHALLENGER20 for 10% off. But guys, check out these cute fish. I'm gonna be feeding them for the first time using some fluval bug bites. You can check them out down below, or if you wait long enough, I'll probably have some food on wildpetsupply.com. Okay, so I'm gonna open these up and feed them. This might be a little too big for the small goldfish. I've never had to use this because I don't have any goldfish until now, thankfully. And I will be getting some bigger ones soon, so I'm just waiting, making sure everything's okay in the pond. The minnows have been here for a couple of weeks, and they've been doing absolutely fantastic. You can actually see some of them in the pond, but I'm gonna throw in a little bit a little handful. Actually, I'm gonna go back in the pond for I'm gonna throw some. <laughs> so the flakes are a little big, so I'm actually trying to smash them up so it's smaller for them. I do have a flake food. I don't know if they'll like that. Um, so, yeah. They're not flakes, they're nuggets. Look. Yeah. Thanks. Let's drop your camera. There's the sole fish right there. He's hiding by himself. Right there. All right, so we're gonna turn on the waterfall and see how they act. They're all kind of hiding in this corner. I don't wanna stress them out. I kinda of wanna build a good relationship with these guys so they like me more later in the future. John's adding a little bit more pebbles on that black spot. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple more cinematic shots. I'll probably bring the GoPro out here to, to get footage underneath the water.
you. Um, it, it's been a lot of work also filming, then editing, then creating thumbnails, working on everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you all on the Slurby Fly. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. I don't know when I'm going to be posting videos. I don't know if I want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Wednesday and Friday. So it's kind of like a mix. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the notification bell also after you hit the subscribe button and also the like button. And drop a comment. If this was your pond, what kind of fish would you want to get for it? If this was your pond, what would you change about it? And if you're happy with the pond, I'll catch you all on the Flippity Flop. See you all later. Get excited for the new fish room. I'll see you all later. Bye. Is it recording? Yes. Yeah. That's just one giant loop. Okay.